we were just two two of us partners graduate civil engineers we just hired uh, two other people who were diploma civil engineers for drafting we used to sort of uh, sketch it on paper and they used to draw it on autocad 2d and uh, this is the first established steel detailing company of a small scale outside the united states who uh, who are into steel detailing for united states fabricators only exclusively so by around 2005 one of our clients on the east coast in united states wanted their shop fabrication shop mechanized when i say mechanized they they, they went to um, cnc machines and all and uh, they demanded 3d modeling as well as machine files and that's how our journey started with 3d modeling software basically so that was basically a demand from the client but when we started using that 3d software we realized that we could increase our efficiency as compared to autocad 2d the uh, errors in modeling were substantially reduced and the speed was faster and we could do more projects within less time and we could provide the machine files and 3d uh, picture of the model that we did to the clients which satisfied them to a large extent about one and a half years back when autodesk team in india contacted us that they have come up with a software which is it was steel uh, we were very open to try it out we, we tried it out for a, about a month or so uh, there were challenges initially but we thought okay we'll work it out with autodesk and all those challenges will be uh, tackled professionally and i'm very happy that they have been tackled very professionally and now probably it's almost there at par with any other software when it comes to the steel detailing modeling providing cnc files and bim modeling as well currently we have a team of about 220 um, detailers checkers team leaders project managers they are all basically uh, most of them are dip- diploma in civil engineering and graduate in civil engineering and some of them are uh, they used to be plain plain simple draftsmen that we trained and made them into modelers and detailers we did get awards for two of our buildings that we uh, designed one was in arizona and one was in uh, somewhere on the east coast and um, this award was uh, given to uh, the whole team of of the fabricator detailer designer and everybody aisc is, is is the governing body for all these steel structures I mean, design, fabrication, and everything in America, and uh, they have conferences every year uh, in United States, and they 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 give awards to uh, some of the projects that were nicely done or something like that. Two of our buildings that we detailed for fabricators got award, and we were mentioned in their magazine last year actually. Uh, we were using AutoCAD for our all products. so you know while doing 2d drawings it was very much time time consuming and as well a lot of coordination was required between our checkers and engineers so it was a error error prone you know some kind of error were still left and the total time cycle which was used was tremendous so we were looking for certain technology where uh, we could reduce the total time cycle to execute the job and as well to reduce the error uh, to a greater extent so that our product should become 100% qualitative so after looking at many 3d softwares we had seen advanced steel you know that advanced steel was totally connected with autocad because after creating 3d model we were able to work on 2d drawings like we were doing earlier on autocad so it was quite easy to understand the software and its usability we we found its potential we bought initially with the 10 licenses we created a team and we started working uh, okay the first job was really very difficult but you know with the very little learning curve within 2 3 months we got to know about the softwares and thereafter we started moving on and many projects we started uh, delivering in a very quick time at time around with a very le- a lower level of error almost no error so at the moment we we got around 100 licenses and we had a scaled up our manpower we trained them to reach a level that we are really able to take advantage for the steel buildings in beam technology in advanced city we had uh, uh, 
uh, hired fresh IQ talented BTEC civil engineering people from the colleges. We had formed a team and we had trained them the good technical aspect of American steel codes and then we had also trained them a good workflow of the advanced steel how to actually make a 3D model of a steel building and created 2D drawings with zero error. We had given them a mock-up jobs and that mock-up jobs had given a hands-on experience to these guys and they got a very good confidence while creating a 3D model and creating 2D drawings and we had checked their all uh, output and we realized to a very good output. So then we start putting them in a live jobs and you, you will want to see that within a month around, around four to five projects we had delivered to the clients and my no client was able to find any, any kind of error and in fact they were happy with the product and the most important thing is that glass detection where my general contractors were happy to get 3D model uh, from our advanced steel, the steel building so they can coordinate with the other trades as well. So last two years we had scaled up to 100 people team and uh, we have got 100 licenses as well uh, from Advanced Steel and there is no way of looking back. We are, very lo we are looking forward to, for the 500 people in my company to create 3D model uh, through this Advanced Steel in a very quick manner. We are doing different type of projects, uh, residential as well as commercial. Commercial projects such as uh, malls, colleges, and hospitals and also hotels and along with this type of projects we also include uh, uh, industrial projects to the some extent like uh, tower platforms and these projects are efficiently executed with the help of uh, BIM technology. In five years from now BIM modeling will reach to a level wherein the model of a building with all the services like electrical, MEP, piping, everything, all those things, services will be integrated in just one model. That will be kept somewhere in a, in a server controlled by either the general contractor or the designer or some outside agency. And any change from any discipline will reflect immediately to everybody involved in that project. Thank you.